स्वयं प्रभा डिजिटल इंडिया एजुकेटेड इंडिया वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर इलेवन द एनपीटेल ऑनलाइन सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स ऑन बायो रिएक्टर्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर Uh, we had uh, assigned uh, a problem a practice problem 3.1 let us solve that in this particular lecture the problem read in a in a batch bioreactor the concentration after inoculation was 0.5 g per liter the lag phase usually lasts 20 minutes under these conditions assuming that the cell concentration at the start of the lag phase the start of the log phase was not significantly different from that immediately after inoculation a estimate the time needed for it to reach 4 g per liter the specific growth rate for this organism under these conditions is 0.5 hour inverse and uh, what is the time needed for the cell concentration to double in the log phase is part b so let us look at the solution let me maximize this first and start looking at the solution we we'll ask our same questions for uh, closed ended problem solving what is needed what is needed here is the in part a is the time required to reach 4 g per liter in batch growth what is known or given the cell concentration just after inoculation is 0.5 g per liter therefore that can be taken to be x not uh, we are assuming that we are assuming that there is not much of a change in cell concentration during the lag phase therefore x not which is the cell concentration at the beginning of the log phase is also taken to be 0.5 g per liter the specific growth rate in the log phase is given as 0.5 hour inverse which we are taking as a constant the lag phase is uh, 20 minutes which is t0 and those are the things that are known the so we have seen what is needed and what are known or given now how to connect what is needed with what is known we have already derived the equation relating the cell concentration and time in batch growth in the previous lecture the equation was this 1 by mu ln of x by x0 plus t0 equals equals the time so we need time here if we substitute the known values we get 1 by 0.5 mu mu is uh, constant 0.5 hour inverse ln 4 by 0.5 plus t not is 20 minutes and our uh, specific growth rate was in r inverse so we need to work with a consistent system of units in other words the units of each of these terms must be the same okay if you check that we will need to convert the 20 minutes into hours and therefore we are dividing that by 60 20 minutes by 60 uh, minutes per hour is 1/3 hour that is that equals the time that is required we have checked for the consistency in unit each term having the same system of units and the need uh, for 20 by 60 we saw it's always good to check for check the units of each term in an equation and ensure that it is the same if we calculate this left hand side we will get t equals 4.49 hours or 269.3 minutes so this is part a the time that is required to reach a concentration of 4 g per liter starting with a concentration of 0.5 g per liter when the specific growth rate was 0.5 hour inverse for part b what is needed the time 
for the cell concentration to double in the log phase. What is known or given? This written in terms of our uh, terminology would be x equals 2 times x naught. The specific growth rate is 0.5 hour inverse and what is how to connect what is needed to what is given. Since we are concentrating only on the log phase, the lag time is really irrelevant here. We do not have to worry about it. Therefore, 1 by mu ln of x by x naught equals t. We do not have to worry about plus t naught, which is actually the time from the beginning of the batch. So, we are concentrating only on the log phase here. If we substitute the known variables, 1 by mu is 0.5 x of uh, requirement here is 2 x naught by x naught, x naught x naught can get cancelled this is ln 2 therefore ln 2 by 0 0.5 equals t. Ln 2 is 0 0.693 ln 1 by 0 0.5 ln 2. 0 0.6 this is a nice number to remember 0 0.693. 0 0.693 by mu is the time that it usually takes to double. So, that would turn out to be t equals 1.39 hours. So, this was a straightforward solution. I am sure many of you would have uh, gotten this and with practice we will become much better. I think uh, we will stop this lecture. This is a short lecture which kind of looks at the solution of the problem. When we begin the next lecture, we will take module 3 forward. See you then.